welcome you to Big Time Wrestling to the arena. Certainly are glad to have you along. Look at there, we got the signs out already, got the banners going, and we are ready for action. Hope you are too. Coco Samoa, Vicious Burn Stewart. That's what it says right here. Now, I don't know if that's really what it's going to be, but we will find out together. Now, well, there's Vicious Burn making his way to the ring. And we'd like to, at this time, say a big thank you to Dutch Savage. Dutch was here just a little while ago, helping us out with some of our broadcasting, and he had to leave. But, uh, boy, it was good seeing the Dutchman up here in the old crow's nest again. And he's looking good. Yeah, he's looking better than I think. Yeah, I think he's ready for a main event. I really do. There's Coco Samoa. Here comes Don Owen. Right behind him, NWA referee Sandy Barnes. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 246 pounds from Canada, Vicious Vern Fever. His opponent in this corner, 236 pounds from the South Pacific, Coco. Coco Samoa, Vicious Vern Siebert. Coco fighting barefooted, of course, and possessing one of the hardest heads in professional wrestling today. A master at the Samoan headbutt. He has uh, also developed a very, very effective move called the Samoan drop. And you may see that. Vicious Vern is hoping you don't, but uh, you may see that today. Boy, what action. Going, uh, what what rippling effect, what shockwave effect we've got going on throughout the entire Pacific Northwest, and it's going beyond the Northwest, across the country and around the world now with the assassin and Rip Oliver. Last week in a hair match between Scott Doring and Rip Oliver, Rip Oliver used that cast of his that's on his he claims that his right thumb uh, was, was dislocated or broken or had ligaments torn or something. But he's got, he's got a big enough cast on that to be, uh, to be a body cast. And in that match with Scott Doring, he clotheslined Doring with the cast. And that must have been like hitting Doring with a brick wall. Doring dropped to the mat, and Rip Oliver pinned him. And at that point, the, uh, the assassin had been up here in the crow's nest doing some commentating. He said he was going to go down into the ring to congratulate Rip Oliver. He crawled into the ring, and he attacked Rip Oliver. Yeah, uh, he attacked Rip Oliver, knocked him down. In fact, he clotheslined Oliver. And, uh, well, in fact, you did see it last week because we showed you that, that film. And uh, if you didn't see it, boy, you, uh, you missed one of the most exciting things to happen in pro wrestling in a long, long time. But for those of you who didn't see it, now at least you know basically what happened. Anyway, the assassin has, uh, has jumped the fence, so to speak. We don't really know. I, the assassin is his own wrestler. He's his own man. So I, you know, whether you want to call him good, bad, or whatever... He is his own man, and he is after Rip Oliver. He claims that Oliver uh, was responsible for uh, the assassin's mother losing her home down in Florida. We don't know the full story on that, but whatever it is, the assassin is out for blood, and he wants Oliver's blood. Well, that news has now traveled around the uh, across the country and around the world. I'm sure... Uh, if you haven't already read about it in wrestling magazines and newspapers, you will very shortly. The assassin has left the clan and has turned on the leader. Now, Dutch Savage had something very interesting to say about the assassin and Rip Oliver. Dutch says, of course, and Dutch is going to know because he was here when it all started, when the clan was born. He says that the assassin was the brain behind the clan. That the assassin was the one who uh, who gave the ideas to Rip Oliver. And Oliver, uh, of 
course, used the ideas as his own. And everyone has, was led to believe that it was Oliver who, who put the thing together, who made it fly. But Savage says, uh-uh, that it was the assassin. The assassin is, is certainly uh, no one to, uh, to take lightly, and he's certainly no one to turn on the way uh, Rip Oliver apparently has, has turned on him or to at least create a situation where the assassin now is after Oliver because the assassin knows exactly how Oliver thinks. He knows every move that Oliver has made and can make. It's very, very interesting. This is going to be a war. It already is a war. It's bigger than a feud. It's gone into a war between the assassin and Rip Oliver. And that's going to be going on throughout the entire Northwest. And all these towns that we're going to be talking about in just a little bit, when big-time wrestling comes to your area, boy, you better get your tickets, get on out there, and find out what's going on. Vicious Burn. And Coco Samoa is on behind. Oh, it's full Nelson by Coco. On Siebert. Coco Samoa, crowd favorite, wherever he goes, in all the towns in Oregon and Washington, in Idaho. Lying there, press, break, and a count of two, and he goes right back to that arm bar. Coco does on Vern Siebert. Our main event today, don't go away. Tag team, DNS Express against the Buddha Dean and uh, Mean Mike Miller. Now, I have not been told whether that's a, uh, going to be for the title or not. We'll, uh, we'll find out in just a little bit. Coco, no, coming down across that. Left arm across the back of Ver Vern Siebert. And that smarted. Now, Vern, fighting verbally as well as physically with uh, Coco Samoa, is going to, he has requested a test of strength. And here we go. And this is not multiple choice either, this. And the test is on right now between Vern Siebert and Coco Samoa. Ah, Siebert brings the knee up into the chest. Down to one knee goes Coco Samoa. Finley, Finley, Washington. We're going to be uh, coming your way tomorrow. Starting at 7 o'clock. Big time wrestling coming to Riverview High School. And boy, they have a super card put together. Everybody's going to be on that thing. Coco Samoa, Ricky Santana, of course the assassin will be there. Rip Oliver, the clan, Scott Doring. Get your tickets at Riverview High School. That's the delay that move by Coco Samoa. He never let go. <laughs> and Siebert right now has got a look of surprise on Siebert's face. And referee Sandy Barr counts one, two, and Siebert gets that left shoulder up that time. You folks over in Finley, well, don't miss that, because that could be the time that the assassin catches up with Oliver. It could happen at any time, at any town. Monday, it could happen on Monday at Yakima. Starting at 8 o'clock at J.M. Perry Tech. There's going to be a big tag team bout there involving the DNS Express. So we got Finley tomorrow. We got Yakima on Monday. On Monday the 17th, we're going to be in Wenatchee at the Wenatchee Convention Center. The big card. Headlined by Pacific Northwest title match. 
the Wenatchee Convention Center on Monday, November the 17th, starting at 8 o'clock. Forearm smash by Stevens. Back into that arm bar. Sandy Barr keeping a close eye on that, making sure it doesn't slip into a chokehold. On the 4th of uh, November, we're going to be in Milton, Freewater, Oregon. On the 18th of November, we're going to be in Othello, Washington, at the junior high school there, starting at 8. We're going to be all over the place. Check your local newspapers. And take in pro wrestling in person when it comes to your area. Burn Siebert. Got a grip on that trapezius. Coco Samoa. Coco trying to get to his feet. There's a crowd romping and stopping there for Coco. And he just took a forearm smash across the back of the neck. And now it's into the turnbuckle. Face first. Uh -uh, that has no effect whatsoever on Coco Samoa. Just gets him mad, that's all. That just gets him mad. Siebert turns around and says, wait a minute. This guy should be laying on the mat. And a right hand to the forehead, another right hand. And now, now, he's just going to kind of get even now. Headbutt! That's headbutt number one. Here comes headbutt number two. The third time is the charm that usually puts him down. This is it. Bingo! Down he goes. Burn. Seabrook. And caution. The rope and a hard chop coming off the rope. And Coco Samoa in full command now. Leg drop across the chest. Going for the pin one. And Siebert kicks out. Siebert coming off the rope. Shoulder tackle on Coco. Down goes Coco. Over goes Siebert. And look at it. He ran right into. Is this going to be? This is the Samoan drop. Here we go. Samoan drop. And this baby's over. One, two, and three. Yes, sir. The Samoan drop. It looks like he's going to do an airplane spin, but instead it's a crash landing backwards, and Siebert is out of it. And our first match goes to Coco Samoa over Vicious Vern Siebert. We'll be back with a special interview after this timeout. 